Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to edit a data frame within R. Now there may be times when you're working in R that you would like to um, update the contents of a data file, whether that's fixing a typo or changing a value or inserting something in a blank space. You may need to do this. Now, most people will do this in an editor such as Excel or Tableau, but you can do it from within or if you need to do a quick fix and here is how we're going to do it. So before we start, let's um, load in a data file and take a look at a data frame that we are going to edit. The data file that I'm loading in is called 62 underscore data underscore file dot CSV. This CSV file contains data downloaded from the weather.com website. It contains data on the weather conditions in Dublin in Ireland where I live. This file and all other uh, CSV and sample files plus the R scripts for this series of videos are available in my GitHub. You'll find a link to that in the information section beneath the video on the YouTube page. So let's lo load this file in and read it into um, a data frame called weather. So we're going to run that and then when I print the weather to show the contents of the file we can see that we've got date for 10 days. These are actual data from weather.com so on these 10 days you can see the high, high temperature in degrees Celsius, the low and the conditions of that. Now let's say um, I discovered that there's an error in here and that on the first line for the 1st of April that the low temperature of 5 degrees is incorrect and that should have been a 2. So I could go back out to the file, uh, open it up in Excel, make the change and reload it into R. But I can do it from this section here. So I can do it using the edit function. So I'm going to edit, open and close brackets, let me fix the typo there. Edit, open and close brackets, and I'm going to edit the data frame that I have just created, which is called weather. Now, when I run this line, up comes uh, in the R Studio a small data editor. And you can see it looks like what you would expect to see in the likes of Excel and so on. So we've got our 10 lines of data and the four columns here. So if I now, I can now go into, I can move around, click around, I'm moving it around with my mouse, or I can use arrows to move around, just like in a spreadsheet, and I can change the value of 5 for low temperature on the 1st of April, I'm going to change it to 2. And I can make other changes, I'm not going to for this video, but I can make other changes by moving around. So I've changed the value of 5 to 2, and then I'm going to close down the editor. Now if I um, pr print, let me just copy line 5 down, if I reprint out the weather data frame. Let's see what happens. You can see, this is it printed out again, you can see that in line one the value remains at five even though we changed the two in the edit tool. So that's something to be really really careful about. So what we need to do is um, update and save the changes at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, reassign my weather data frame using the assignment operator and um, edit the, the data frame. So this, what this will have the effect of doing is updating the data frame and saving it uh, in with the same name uh, in, in, in as a new data frame. So let me run this. Up comes our data frame. We can see it still has the value of 5. So if I now change this to 2 and then close the data editor, I can make any other changes I want as well, but I'm just going to make this one change. Close the data edit editor and now reprint out the weather. So let me copy and paste this uh, line down again. So if I run line 12, we can see that on the 1st of April that now the weather data frame has been updated to a value of 2. Now note that this doesn't update the file. We need to rewrite this to a file uh, if we wanted to do that. But in this way, we can make changes, uh, quick changes in a data frame uh, should we need to do so. You're probably mostly going to use the likes of Excel, which is a little bit easier for people to make changes, but a simple change like this might be useful on the fly. So that's how you use the edit function to um, edit a data frame in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.